It's so good to see you all. I think it's almost been five weeks since we've um, had our library times. So, um, you, I, well, I hope you're missing me. I thought I'd give you the opportunity to see my face today rather than the teacher's face because you might be getting a bit sick of that. Um, your mum and dad's face, but don't tell them I said that. Um, I'm still in my pyjamas too. It's a secret. Yes, I sometimes don't get out of my pyjamas till about 11 o'clock. I get up quite early, about 8 o'clock, um, and I have a cup of tea and I read and read and read and read. And about 11 o'clock, my husband says to me, right, come on, let's get on with the day. So then we go for a big walk and with Humphrey. You know, you all know who Humphrey is. I'll bring him in in one of these um, story times so you can see him. And we've got a new puppy called Frank. Um, and then, um, so we go for a big walk, come home and have lunch, and then I lie on the sofa and read some more. Then it's, the day's gone. So I've done lots and lots of reading these holidays, which, well, not holidays, this lockdown, which has been really good. Anyway, I'm going to read you my first story. I'm not sure how it's going to go. I think that as we do more stories, online stories, I will get better at it. So this is one of my favourites. Um that rabbit belongs to Emily Brown, and I think I've read this to all of you in the library before, but it's one of my faves by Cassandra, um, Cassandra Cow. Right. This rabbit belongs to Emily Brown. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Emily Brown and an old grey rabbit called Stanley. One day, Emily Brown and Stanley were just launching themselves into outer space to look for alien life forms when there was a rat-a-tat-tat at the kitchen door. What could that be? It was the chief footman of the Queen. He said, the Queen has very kindly noticed your rabbit. She would like to have your bunny one and in return, she offers you this brand new golden teddy bear. Whoa! Emily Brown looked at the Queen's teddy bear. It was stiff, and it was new, and it was horrible. It had staring eyes and no smile at all. No, thank you, said Emily Brown. That rabbit is not, my rabbit is not for sale. And this, his name is not Bunny Money. It's Stanley and Emily Brown shut the door politely. Well, I think she's quite clear about that, isn't she? An hour or so later, Emily Brown and Stanley were just riding through the Sahara Desert on their motorbike when there was a rat-a-tat-tat at the garden door. Gosh, they do get around, don't they? It was the army! The army! The captain saluted and he said, Her Most Royal Highness Queen Gloriana III greets Miss Emily Brown and she would still like to have that bunny oney. In return, she offers her brand new golden teddy bear and ten talking dolls that say, Mama, Mama. I think that would drive me mad. Wow. Well, Emily Brown said, I don't want ten talking dolls. I want my rabbit. And this, his name is Bunny Wunny. Oh, there you go, I made a mistake. And his name isn't Bunny Wunny, it's Stanley. And Emily Brown sent that army away, but less politely this time. Well, a few days later, Emily Brown and Stanley were just deep sea diving off the barrier reef when there was a rat-a-tat-tat at the garden door. Gosh, they're diving in the barrier reef now. It was the Navy. The Admiral saluted and he said, Her most glorious royalness, Clean Gloriana III, greets Miss Emily Brown. And she would like you to hand over that rabbit at your earliest convenience. She points out that she is the poshest person on the planet. Posh, what's posh? And that Bunny Wunny will be much better off with her. Whatever. In return, she offers you the brand new golden teddy bear, ten talking dolls that say, 
Mama, Mama. And 50 rocking horses that will rock forever. I don't care who she is, said Emily Brown. This rabbit belongs to me. And his name isn't Bunny Wunny, it's Stanley. And she sent that navy away. Oh, sounds like the Wanaka Librarian at the primary school, doesn't she? Wow. Can you see that? A few weeks later, Emily Brown and Stanley were just climbing through the Amazon rainforest. The Amazon rainforest, really? When there was a rat-a-tat-tat on the garden door. Well, we all know who it's going to be this time, don't we? Oh, it was the Air Force. It was the Wing Commander. And he saluted and he said, Her Excellence, the Most Mighty Queen Gloriana III, greets Miss Emily Brown and says she must have the bunny wunny right now. Or she will answer for the consequences. In return, we will give her a brand new golden teddy bear. Ten talking dolls that say, Mama, Mama, and 50 rocking horses that rock forever, and all the toys she could ever desire. Goodness. Almost I would almost be prepared to negotiate on that. What do you think? Now, Emily Brown was fed up. She sent that Air Force away, and she pinned a big notice on her garden gate that read, This rabbit is not for sale. And his name is not Bunny Wunny, it's Stanley. Whew. A few months later, Emily Brown and Stanley were out, uh, were lying fast asleep in bed, dreaming of all the adventures they would have the next day, when there was absolutely no noise at all. And then at the front door, oh, hold on, I've read that wrong. You know, like I do in the library sometimes. I was fast asleep, dreaming of all the adventures they would have the next day when there was absolutely no noise at all at the door or the gate or the window. Oh, so it's all gone quiet. Oh, that's a bit of a change, isn't it? Okay. Silently, in crept the Queen's special commander. She said, and they stole that rabbit that belonged to Emily Brown. I can't believe it. When Emily Brown woke up the next morning for the first time in her life, there was no Stanley. <sighs> Emily Brown was so cross. She was so cross. She knew just what had happened. She marched straight up to that palace on the hill. She knocked on that naughty queen's front door. rat a tat tat <sighs> Emily Brown ran into the palace. And there was that naughty queen crying like anything. The first thing she was said was, Oh, thank goodness you're here. Emily Brown, there's something wrong with Bunny Wunny. Can't even see Bunny Wunny. Where is he? Can we see him anywhere? Anyway, let's get to the next page. There was indeed something wrong with Stanley. That silly naughty queen had put him in the royal washing machine all night and he'd come out pink. <gasps> The royal dressmakers had stuffed him full of stuffing so he wasn't flippy floppy anymore. And worst of all, they'd sewn up his mouth where Emily Brown had picked it away. And Stanley wasn't smiling anymore. Stanley was miserable. Oh, Emily Brown, Emily Brown, is there anything you can do? Asked the silly, naughty queen. Best certainly is, said Emily Brown. I shall take Stanley home. That silly queen started crying harder than ever. I have all the toys in the world, but none as nice as Stanley. Emily felt sorry for that silly queen. So she went to the royal tea cupboard and she took down the brand new golden teddy bear and she placed it on the queen's lap. Oh, that was very thoughtful of Emily Brown. Emily Brown whispered. Got that right? There we go. Emily Brown whispered so that no one else could hear. You take that horrid brown teddy bear and you play with him all day. You sleep with him at night. You hold him very tight and be sure to have lots of adventures. And then maybe one day you will wake up with a real toy of your own. And Emily Brown and Stanley went home. And fair enough too, that blimmin' queen just gets everything she wants. But doesn't play with anything for long. 
That was the last Emily Brown and Stanley heard from that silly naughty queen for quite some time. But one day, a couple of years later, just as Emily Brown and Stanley were exploring the outermost regions of the Milky Way, there came a rat a tat tat on the kitchen door. I can only imagine. And it was the postman with a letter for Emily Brown, and it just said, Thank you. And look, the Queen has taken Emily Brown's advice and done exactly to the golden rabbit what she was told to hug it, look after it, sleep with it, and play with it. That's how you get your favourite toy, isn't it? So, well, I hope you could see me properly in that screen. It's quite hard reading a book and um, <clears throat> uh, recording it at the same time. Now, listen, at the end of this, I'll get the teachers to put my email address. If you feel like writing to me and telling me what you've been up to, I'd love to hear from you. So, um, yeah, any time you feel like sending me an email, love to hear from you. And I'll get on with my next book and it will be out in a few days. So I hope you enjoy. Bye. Bye. I have to go and have a shower now and get dressed. <laughs>